hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel yeah as you can see here i'm really 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 new and guys please i want you to do me a favor please 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 help me like subscribe and comment please it is really going to help me out like why would it not help me out like check for an instant i'm really new here and i swear i'm going to be dropping only gems like only gems only thing I'll be dropping in this channel. I will make sure I help you guys the best way I can. I will just provide value in full life. So yeah, today we are talking about the easiest way to analyze the charts, whether it is crypto, whether it is stock, whether it is anything. Like charts is charts. Like as far as it concerns technical analysis, you could do it on anywhere that has charts. So yeah, when analyzing the charts. The first thing or the first three things you should pay attention to is number one, why price move, number two, how price move, and number three, the three ways price move, which is uptrend, downtrend, consolidation. So let's talk about why price move. Price move because of support and resistance. Support and resistance. I just hope you are paying great attention. Like you need to pay attention if you really want to get this thing all of you. Because this is like this is very easy technical analysis is the easiest way to analyze the chart and like if you know how to do your technical analysis you don't need to go looking for any of that thing like fuck it like you know what i mean so yeah the first why price move price move because of support and rest and now don't get me wrong there are so many reasons why price move but support and rest is the most relevant like what else support and rest is the most relevant way price move so yeah Support and resistance. The, ne the next thing on the list is how price move. Price move in a form of zigzag manner. In a downtrend, this is a downtrend you're seeing here. By my left. <laughs> in a down in a downtrend. In a downtrend, a definition of a downtrend is lower low and higher low. Lower low and higher low. Lower low and higher low. Now for an uptrend. This is an uptrend on my right corner here. The definition of an uptrend is higher lows and higher highs. Higher lows and higher highs. So yeah, that's the definition of a, of an uptrend, and this is the definition of a downtrend. And the next thing, the next thing to pay attention to is the three ways price move. Oh, I was too fast. But yeah, the next thing to pay attention to is the three ways price moves, which is an uptrend which is a downtrend and which is a consolidation now i've explained downtrend i've also explained an uptrend let's talk about the consolidation phase the consolidation phase is when the market is not doing anything at a particular point in time and the market is either going up or going down it's just confused it's going up and down at the same time just making dirty moves and this is these are moves you don't want to pay attention to why because they are very dangerous this is the this is the place where traders lost most of their money i do not trade this phase if i trade i trade either a downtrend or i'm trading an uptrend apart from these two phases are uh, amount and i'm out of the market so yeah so pay great attention and stick these things into your mind because we're going we'll be going to a real time chart as quick as possible so the first thing we said in this list is why price move price move because of support and resistance yeah this is why price move i've tested it for more than three years now and it's working for me so price move because of support and resistance and how price move price move in a form of zigzag manner if you look here this downtrend i'm pointing out it's kind of a zigzag manner to the downside if you look to the uptrend it's kind of a zigzag manner to the uptrend then now if you look to the consolidation consolidation phase it is also a zigzag manner so this is how price move now the three ways price move price move in an uptrend a downtrend and guess what consolidation phase so yeah, this is what i will see so now i'll go to a real time chart and show you these movements in in real like in a real time chart so you could see it for yourself and know what i mean then after that, the next thing I'll be doing is to show you how to analyze the charts. Very quick. So let's do it. So now I will go to I will pick I will pick on and I'll go to the daily to show you how the 
this thing really moves. Go to the daily to show you the downtrend. The pound is loading a bit. My network is a bit sneaky, so let's just bear with me. Let's do it. You know what I mean? So yeah guys if you look here now you will see that this market has been dropping for like a very long time since since february this market have consistently gone down now what was our definition of a downtrend if you all can remember a downtrend is lower lows and lower highs lower lows and lower highs now guess what just look at exactly what i'm going to show you now lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows yeah this is where the market went so now if you are able to spot this thing know where the market is about to stop and just change it right you'll be able to make lots of money like look at this thing imagine you sold imagine you sold this point if so at this point this market would have dropped and you would have been in this downtrend and made a lot of money like it is so easy so it's not as easy as it looks it's not as easy as it looks there's so much psychology behind this thing so what i'm trying to say is how the downtrend looks like in real time chart so let's go to the dollar index and see how an uptrend look like in real time chart so, and if you look carefully here guys you will see that this market has been going up since this is the, the us dollar index this is like the movement of the us dollar this is the us dollar in general so yeah guys if you look where what was our definition of an uptrend our defini definition of an uptrend is higher highs and higher lows higher highs and higher lows so guess what guys look what's this this is a higher high this is a higher low this is a higher high this is a higher low. This is a higher high. This is a higher low. This is a higher high. And this is a higher low. And this is also a higher high. So guys, the market moves like this. There is no other way this market can move. Trust me, this is how the market moves. You think I'm lying. Go check it by yourself. Go test it by yourself. So the next pair we'll go to is is the pound um, the GBP JPY to see the consolidated face. yeah guys give me a minute yeah so guys if you look carefully to this chart look carefully this is a daily time frame this is a daily time frame in the gbp jpy and guess what the market has been doing the market has been confused like the market has been confused it has been really confused like it is actually very difficult to make money in this phase trust me like you don't want to be caught in this phase i know it's not easy to spot this phase but with more practice you will overcome the stress of losing money in this phase so guys guess what look what the market is doing here it is really confused it's not going up neither is it coming down it is so confused and trust me you don't want to find yourself in this phase so the next thing now and i will show you is how to analyze the charts how to analyze the chart and know when to enter and make profit in general i'll really go in depth in telling you when to enter but i'll just show you how to analyze the chart so guess what guys let's do it i'll use this very chart there's no need going for another chart because you can actually do it in every chart if i see so why do i want to look for a specific chart to do it on so yeah guys now looking at this chart the first thing i see here is that Okay, yeah, this market is confused it is very very confused by the way see i'm a day trader i'm a day trader i don't swing to i don't hold trades for more than two days most times like 90 percent of the times i close my trade the very day i open a few hours more like so i don't scalp so now me looking at this chart i see a very bright thing that's happening here like i see this market i've been in an uptrend before i see this market i've been in an uptrend previously if you look here look at the higher high higher low higher high and now guys okay let me call this a higher low it failed to make another higher high it 
failed to make another higher high and test it and continue going on. So the market failed to do to do these things. The market failed to do this thing. So guess what it did? It stopped and now the market is really confused. And the market is really confused. So guess what guys? In this case, what I'll do is you know, number one, stay away from this market. But before I stay away from this market, guys, I want to know the next thing this market is going to do. I want to draw my support and resistance and know when to come back and enter a trade and that type of thing. So what I want to do here is to draw my support and resistance. So you watch me carefully. This is my support I'm drawing here. I'm drawing my support here. And guess what I'm drawing my resistance, guys? If you guessed here, then you got it right. I'm drawing my resistance here. I don't know why it is not closing. I'm drawing my resistance here. I'm drawing my resistance here. Now, what's my conclusion on this market, guys? My conclusion on this market is that the market will either break. The market will either break my support or it breaks my resistance and follow the next direction. So I want the market to do this. I want the market to break this support, test it, and continue down. Or if you don't do that, then I want it to go. And I want it to go to my resistance. Break my resistance. Test it. And continue the and pick the next trend. That's the two things I want this market to do. The market is not doing this to get for guys. I'm staying away from this market. So yeah, guys, if we go, if we go to, if we go to the pound charts, for example, now let me do another analysis. Then we'll call it day. We'll close this video. If we go to the pound chart. If you look, the market has been going down for a while. So there's very few things I want to do. I've seen that this market has gone down for a very long while. So let me clear out this drawing for a while. Let me clear these drawings for a while. Okay, it's being so quick right now. So yeah, I've seen that this market has been dropping for a while. So guess what guys, my support and resistance is the next thing I'll draw. Or is the first thing I'll draw. So, I'll do something like this. And what do I mean by drawing this thing? This is my this is my support tone resistance. This was supposed to be the main resistance that I'm drawing now. But guess what? Support has turned resistance in this case. So therefore, I'm waiting for this market. I'm waiting for this market. The test here. And come down. That's exactly what I want. So yeah guys, thank you for staying true with this video. Let's call it a day. Thank you. Please subscribe like and guys just, guys just join me in this journey let's just wrap it up i swear i i don't swear <laughs> but yeah i'll be dropping gems and only gems is why i'll be dropping this in this channel so thank you guys peace